72 degrees with a light breeze and it's going to get a little warmer somehow it's about time don't even cover how important it is what have you been up to i've been riding on a date the awning on the RV as you saw the last video and unfortunately I can't find mower blades for my mower there it's just obsolete the mowers too old they quit making the blades the people that were making them originally um, had knockoffs being made now those people aren't even making them it's just too old so I'm gonna have to do what I can to get this lawn cut down because tomorrow we've got some thunderstorms that are rolling in and we're in a kind of a low-lying area to where the ground stays relatively wet a lot of the time. So if it goes any longer than it has uh, up until this point without being mowed, it's going to uh, be an issue. So I got to take the plow off the mower and put the mowing deck on. I'll probably have to sharpen the blades. So let me get to work. So the deck's all on and the plow is put away for the most part. We made a little bit of a mess here, scraped out some of the grass from last year, one of my last few mulchings of the leaves. And I think I might change the oil just to get some house uh, keeping done. Just because. Now, I don't know if you noticed, and I don't know if you were in camera angle, but I went ahead and removed my old blades and used the blades that were a little bit too small and when I say they were too small, they were just, I mean, barely, because these have been cut down so much. Um, you measure blades, for the most part, from corner or blade tip to blade tip. Well, you can see this much is missing. <laughs> these are actually not that far off from the size that I just put on there. So it'll get me by. That's, that's the most important thing. So let's go ahead and I'll change the oil out and uh, we'll mow the lawn and see if we can beat the rain that's coming in tomorrow. But, you know, quite honestly, it's starting to look cloudy and darker now. But it's very warm out. It feels very good. It's not hot. Um, you know, we're still in the 70s, but with the jacket on, I feel really good.
All right, so it's all mowed, all taken care of. I had to miss some spots up there because there's gravel from when I plowed. And those blades worked okay. It's just taking me longer to mow, like always. Um, that mower is just a slow mower. I got to put my son's truck back, or his van back over in this area uh, to get it out of the way. And I got a bunch of stuff that I need to do, which I'm going to put off. <laughs> Uh, it's such nice weather. I just want to enjoy the day. Uh, I need to do the brakes on his car. I need to do a troubleshoot on his van. Uh, I think it's a small pump that's making a noise on it. I need to do the brakes front and rear on my truck. I have to bleed them all out, uh, change the fluid in the master cylinder. I have to install a backup camera on the truck, which I've had now for, I don't know, five months, six months. Um, so I, I've got to do that. I still have to straighten up out here. And I have to remove all the wheels and tires on the travel trailer and adjust the brakes and inspect them this year. Make sure everything looks good in there because uh, I haven't done it. I didn't do it last year, I should say. So it needs to be done. So there's a lot of stuff I need to pay attention to and get done. Uh, so whenever it's time to uh, camp, um, the house will be pretty much set up and the truck will be set up to where we don't have to worry about it. You just kind of go about your way and uh, enjoy yourself. All right, that's it for today. Let's see what happens next. All right, guys, so it's a beautiful day outside and we got a bunch of stuff going on. And I want to talk about something that I thought was potentially wrong, but looks like it might be right. Let's go look at it. First, a quick reminder. Remember, I have all my tools, for the most part, in this toolbox. This is the toolbox that's going to go with me. Um, I have this makeshift little handle, and it made the box to where I could use it again. However, I've got other tools that won't fit in this box, such as this stuff here, uh, these impact tools, uh, the saw, drill. I might get a different drill and saw combination. Some drill bits, and then uh, here's the sawzall. Here's another tool. There's a vacuum gauge. Um, I'm not necessarily going to bring my plastic welder. That don't make any sense. The solder gun, uh, maybe not this. I don't know. It's, it's such a small kit. But, you know, it's one of those things that you just say, well, this ain't very big. I can take it with me. And then I say, well, this ain't very big. I can take it with me. This ain't very big. I can take it with me. And next thing you know, you have a whole bunch of not very big items taking up a very big area. Now you're looking in here. I've got uh, this item here. It's not very big. I'll probably take it with me. <laughs> and then uh, torque wrenches and gauges and uh, air nailers. And then there's some uh, meters here, which I don't need both of them timing light, my uh, temperature gun, tape measure, there's stuff over here yet. Ugh. I've got uh, a couple more air nailers and a saw. I don't know if I need the air nailers yet. We'll have to think about that. I like using them in the, uh, in, you know, doing repairs on the RV. My electrical toolbox and then some other tools. I mean, there's some other things that I might want to take. Now, I'm sure you guys are saying, wait a minute, why aren't you getting rid of all that stuff? Well, as I mentioned in a previous video, if you didn't get to see that, I'm going to take a little bit more than what I think. And then if I don't use it in a year, maybe a year and a half on the road, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to downsize it. But because I can make repairs and I can do a lot of repairs, I don't want to cut my throat as far as the potential for making some extra money. So if we get into an RV park, and I mentioned something about work camping, and maybe it's just a little mom and pop place, and these guys say, you know, we don't normally do work camping. However, I do have some repairs that I could have you do, and we can knock off some of your rent. Well, sure, I'd like to do that. Maybe they have the catch, though, that since they don't normally have somebody do those kind of repairs for them, they just hire somebody in, that means they probably don't have the tools to do it. So I don't want to be left without saws, rivet guns, drill bits, whatever, nail guns, nails, stuff like that, that's going to make it to where I can't do the job. Or I can do the job, but it would take much longer. I mean, a lot of you that's never used this stuff before saying, ah, just get a box of nails and just bring a hammer. And that works great if you're not doing a lot of work. But if they have a deck and they want to replace all the boards on the deck, 
um, you're going to get awful tired swinging that hammer and when you could just hit it with a nail gun and be done with it. Um, it's nice to have. And I've already got them. I'm not going to get rid of them just because. Now, that may change on down the road. A year from now, if I haven't even touched the stuff, if I find out that I'm not even using it and nothing's exactly the way that I thought, which could actually be, it could be that it never happens. Well, then, yeah, sure, I'm going to get rid of it. So you can see what I have. And when I went to Home Depot, I was looking for a box that would kind of hold all this stuff, be portable, and be something that could take a beating. Now, I was thinking about using uh, these toolboxes here, um, maybe like this one here which won't fit the big stuff like my saws and that so then I thought about this one down here but that's a little bit too big and it's not really friendly as far as storing it or anything like that so I got something else so here's what I got it's a big 50 gallon husky mobile job box um, it has some positive latches on it with place to put a lock if you want to do that um, there's a place to put a lock over here. There's a place to put a lock over here, and then it's got a lock on it So definitely can secure stuff and you can see how big it is um, Pretty cavernous and then this piece here just pulls out uh, You know out of your way, so that's kind of cool You can load that up with whatever and and carry that if you need to go do a job So it's going to be big enough. Uh, it's got wheels on it So it's got a handle so you can pull it around um, as far as it fitting in here, if I roll it back in there, it will fit to where the wheel well um, comes right about here. It does not fit underneath my uh, winch mount, which that kind of sucks. But yeah, I, I get to load this thing up. Gotta love the awning. So nice that it's not ripped. <laughs> so how about the camping? Yep, we're going to go camping. Uh, we're going camping, I think it's next weekend. but. Um, it's going to be just one day out of the weekend and into the week. We don't know how long it's going to be. Let me just be honest with you. Um, we do know it's going to be West Branch. Um, we do know Heidi's working one of the days that I'm going to be out there maybe by myself. I don't know when I'm going to go out and how hard I'm going to try to get out there. So maybe I'll just lounge around for the day and wait till Heidi gets off work. Our son has to go to work in the evening. We might uh, try to see if uh, he can catch a ride. Um, with either Heidi's parents or my daughter. She might be able to drive them in. It's very fluid, but we are going to get out. So we get to show you some stuff. I know there's a lot of times that we're showing you things on here and it's like, man, why do they want to see us mow the lawn? Well, it's part of the process. Now I know that that's kind of a stretch for the most part. And some of you may not agree with that, but the whole idea behind the channel was to show you pretty much everything that we got to do to get to where we want to be full timers to where we can be full timers. And one of those things is now that I've got rid of my business in the garage, um, mowing this lawn is a chore and it's something that I used to do and used to actually use that chore to test mowers that I had in here. I mean there might be, oh I don't know, 20 times over three months that I use somebody's mower that's in here for testing. You know, I want to go out and make sure that it's fine and I use it to make sure that it cuts and does everything it's supposed to. Whenever I did that, it was nice. The lawn always stayed manicured, but it had, you know, all different size cuts and, you know, the stripes and everything. Uh, if, you know, I might be mowing with a 36 inch cut one day. I might be mowing with a 60 inch cut, you know, uh, three days later during the, you know, in the spring when the grass is growing. Um, I might be mowing with a push mower. But the thing was, it was all part of work and it was all part of the process. And we weren't trying to do anything but just for me to work and, and make money doing that. Now, of course, doing that work inside, you know, anything that takes me away from inside, uh, sitting on the computer um, and not filming, just normal household chores like mowing the lawn, it's becoming a hindrance. Uh, don't get me wrong. I could mow for weeks on end. I have no problem climbing on a mower and sitting on it for four hours, five hours. I used to take care of my parents' property whenever I was just out of high school. They had six acres and I would push mow the front yard and the ditch. I would do the string trimming around the house, the backyard, and some other obstacles that were in the side yard. Then I would ride a riding mower that was just a 36 inch cut simplicity and I would mow three acres with that and then I would hop off of that 
and get on the brush hog and I would brush hog the three and a half acres that was in the back so all that combined I mean during the springtime just as I got finished with the brush hog you know it would be time for me to start the string trimming and the push mowing again so it was just like a constant job so whenever I showing you guys the blades and the mowing and talking about that it's because I wanted to make sure that we got the mowing done as fast as possible so it frees me up for this other stuff again we'll have to see how all that works out uh, with those little short blades so far okay but I'd much rather have something else so we've got camping that's coming up I've got some tools that I need to put in the box and we still have to prepare this camper now we were going to prepare it for painting now I got to prepare it you know cleaning it up and not bringing quite everything with us we need to bring just what we need so that whenever we go into the paint mode <laughs> Uh, whenever we get back and we've got some time off and it doesn't look like it's going to be real humid out um, we can you know remove whatever little stuff we have um, and right now we've got a lot of stuff out of the camper so we got to kind of be picky about what we bring back in uh, some shoes some hats uh, some clothing and of course our linens for the bed we maybe just get something to throw on there for the time being and uh, then towels washcloths and then toiletries you know basically overall for the bathroom uh, so we have stuff for that um, I did get full hookups and I got a nice site I got a site that I'll do a review on and see what you guys think about it last time I checked it had the strongest uh, cellular signal down there but that was when we had a different phone carrier that's when we had Sprint so we'll have to see how T-Mobile sounds down there um, I think it was a real strong signal though again we'll see you'll be able to tell because I'll be uploading videos from there. so that's it that's all for now and hopefully we'll be able to show you a lot more here coming up I can't wait after May 1st it's gonna be crazy here I'm gonna have all kinds of stuff going on which uh, we'll clue you in we'll let you see it all but it's gonna be probably in five different directions all at once alright guys as always I hope to see you out there bye